Hi everyone, Power to the Buster here, and we're going to take a look at the 2018 San Diego Comic Con uh, NECA TMNT movie set. Yeah, funny thing is, um, <clears throat> I pre-ordered mine day one. Well, was like one of the first ones to pre-order. Uh, got my confirmation, everything, even though it was stressful. It was almost as if I was defusing a bomb or something. But <laughs> yeah, I got my order through a confirmation, everything, and. Yeah, it seems like people who got theirs, well, pre-ordered, like, on day three, got theirs first, like, days and a week or so ahead. Obviously, the reviewers get special treatment, so no real flaws with their figures or anything, and they get theirs ahead of time. But, yeah, mine showed up Monday. Uh, this video I'm doing is Tuesday, and with how lazy I am, it won't be uploaded till Thursday, Friday is when you guys are probably seeing this. So, yeah, and I wasn't one of the ones who was asking for this set because uh, I was pretty content with the giant ones, the one-fourth scale, and still am. Uh, but these figures pretty much surprised me. Um, I'm sure you guys seen like a thousand videos of these guys already, which I probably get maybe 10 views of it. I don't know. <laughs> crossing my finger that I get more but yeah so me going over the details of like accessories or whatnot such as these bandanas that come with them uh, all the weapons I took out and it came with the canister and the pizza and yeah as you can see the pizza box they come with four slices already displayed with them and four in here also so I'll show you guys this. This is three and Raph has the fourth. So eight slices total. And yeah, these are the definitive versions of the turtles cinematic wise. Yeah, and it sucks that a lot of people couldn't get a hold of them uh, due to some scalpers and some folks being greedy, getting two sets, one to keep clothes or whatever the case was. But... You know, I also heard rumors that GameStop will be getting them, <clears throat> but that doesn't seem likely. I would assume they would probably get, I don't know, if anything, just out of left field, I would assume we would probably see these again, these bodies, but with movie two heads. So, yeah. But, yeah, guys, these guys actually surpass my expectations they're better than the one-fourth scale um yeah the one-fourth is more of a display piece <clears throat> so it pops due to the size so if someone comes to visit they're like oh wow giant turtles you know it looks nice sculpt and everything but yeah these things even fixed a lot of the flaws the big ones had a lot of people have been getting wonky eyes on theirs and i'm gonna show you that on my Raph, because it seems like Raph is the one that's having the wonky eyes. But, yeah. um, Articulation, I'm going to use Raph for the articulation and everything, because all across the board, articulation-wise, they're the same. And a lot of people, reviewers, say the turtles are the same. No. Leo and Mikey is the same, and Donnie is the Raph. Well, Donnie and Raph is the same. <clears throat> I'll show you first off. Right here, I'll use Mikey and turn Leo around so you guys can see him also. Their shells are the same, so that means they share the same torso. Raph and Donnie share the same torso. Raph obviously is got the scuffs on it, so that would make them different than all of them, but mode wise, it's the same as Donnie. Um, let me see about the arms the arms are different it pretty much carried over from the giant set but yeah guys check it out look at the mikey from the side view you cannot tell me that's not the movie mikey i mean from the front yeah you know this angle right here from like right here it kind of saw a bit off but here that's michelangelo movie one mikey the definitive version of the movie turtles as far as i'm concerned and yeah my table is wobbly that i'm on so it's not your mind playing tricks on you or anything 
is every time I rest my hand on the table or whatever, it wobbles. So, yeah, I got to get a stabilizer or something. But, yeah, this is Mikey. There's no doubt about it. Same goes for Raph. Matter of fact, since I'm on Raph right now, uh, let me go through a few things. You know what? Before I do that, let me show you guys the pizza box, which, again, I'm sure you guys already seen, but I just want to show you guys again. So, yeah, you got the information, the greasy-looking pizza box, better delivery, uh, technically a knockoff Domino's, which is awesome. <laughs> and I love Domino's myself. Uh, all this is unreadable because I don't have, well, you guys can read that. I don't have one of those uh, high-end cameras. So, yeah, like this, I don't think that's legible for you guys. I mean, it's super tiny anyway, so. Uh, let me see. So, yeah, that's that. But, so, Raph. Let's see, take this piece out of his mouth. Whoa. So let's see, what's the problem I'm having with Raph? Hmm. Let's see. It looks good. But his eyes, this one is higher up and this one is lower. So it's not like it's going two different ways. It's just the height is off. This one is higher than this one. You really can't tell. And I wouldn't have a problem with this. And I would actually keep it like that because, again, you can't see it unless you're up close. But my problem is his belt isn't really supposed to be up this high in a movie. If you guys are fans of the movie, you would know that. So his belt actually hangs about this low. But my raft has this little glue mark where I'm guessing the belt was at. And it's smeared. So... Yeah, and his belt is extra loose, which, again, wouldn't be a problem because, like I just had it a minute ago, it was, like, up here, which is inaccurate, but, you know. But that glue mark is an issue, and also there's a gap right here. You guys can see it clear as day with some extra glue or something right there in his um, head. So... I messaged them and asked about a replacement, and they're going to replace them as soon as parts come in, they say. So, yeah, I'm waiting on that now. Also, I've been meaning to show you guys the actual box. <clears throat> well, let's see how. Here it is. Yeah, it's more like a blown up scan image. It's not like crisp or in HD or whatnot. But, you know, I mean, it works. And it's raised. So the image is raised here. But, yeah, guys, you this is spot on. These The detail on these guys are perfect. Um, also, my raft is missing. Let's see if he got it. He might have it, but it's really faint. I can't get it to focus. I want to focus on the guys in the back. But yeah, there's a mark on his cheek. Let's see. And it's not on mine. Unless, like I said, it's really faint and I'm just missing it. But it's like a little gash almost, like a scar. But yeah, the rest of the figure is A1. So, as for articulation, double joint, but it's hindered by this, which is soft good. In fact, the whole figure... If you guys could see, I'm pushing it in. It's like soft good almost. Not soft, soft good, but soft enough. Like it got like a almost rubbery type feel, I guess you could say. So yeah, uh, arms go up, out. And surprise, none of the joints were stiff. This, they were excellent. Yeah, double elbow. If I could get this one to bend in uh, okay well yeah I got that one up this much 
Uh, head looks up pretty good, and they all are the same. Looks down, good. Uh, rotation, all the articulation, because there's no bicep swivel, which I like. And all the swiveling and stuff is in the elbow. Again, this is suited for me. I don't like the bicep swivel. Some figures it's, it's not good on. It breaks up the sculpt. Uh, wrist articulation, the different hands would be like dice articulation or dice swivel or whatnot. Or, you know, so his hand has this. And, you know, but yeah, uh, hip articulation. Let me take out one of the sides to show you guys that. So his leg go up this much. Doesn't really go back that much uh, as expected. It goes out, as you can see, the joint down there. And double knee joint, which, uh, there we go. I'm be honest, I haven't really posed these guys in anything super dynamic besides vanilla standing. So, yeah, uh, and ankle articulation, hinge, and what I, you know, the, the usual stuff, I guess you could say. And yeah, I, at first I didn't think I was going to like the way this uh, bandana is going, like how they had it going, but I like them. I like these over the cloth material. Uh, it's a peg system, so, you know, like Mikey's, I don't have his pegged in all the way because it's, it's pretty difficult to peg him in. Let me see if I can get it to clear up some. Yeah, like, once you get it in or out, it's like, man, you'll be finagling with that thing for a while. But, yeah, guys, um, let me see if I can get him in any good poses. I should have posed this arm differently. Since this is the open one, as if he's wounded. Let's see if I can get it up anymore. So he's like, no, no, no. I can't fight anymore. I've been fighting too much. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's pretty much the gist of it. These guys posing is uh I don't know what to choose as the best thing to to say about these guys so yeah um he he doesn't really have a split in his hand to put these sides through but yeah i don't know also a lot of people think we are going to see uh chinese knockoffs of these guys um for the sake of everyone having one, I would hope so. Because, again, these are too good for anyone to pass up. But I would question the quality of them. Because the way these things feel is... I don't know how well it would turn out. I mean, it comes from the Chinese uh, factories or whatever, but still. Um... I don't know. We didn't get a Chinese knockoff of the Toon Turtles, so I don't know. I don't know, guys. But yeah, let me uh, show you guys the rest of them. As for Mikey, uh, pro tip, everyone likes to slide the nunchucks back here, which, as you can see, and yes, my fingernails are long. This is uh, pretty tight in there, and I, I don't really want to mess it up. So you could just drape them over here like this. It looks just as good, you know? I mean... Technically, this would be part two, Mikey, with the chucks right here. But, again, it looks just as good if you just have them dangling. So, yeah. Uh, his knee pads is different than the rest. It's got the most, like, light brown, which on the giant figure, if you guys remember, it was orange. So, let me get these guys in some poses while I'm showing them off to you. But yeah, guys, I love these figures. Oh my God. So I showed you guys them. Oh, also my Mikey eyes. It's not as wonky, but it's pretty wonky. Like, let me see. Let me make them look up a little so you guys could see through the camera because this camera is an asshole at focusing. But yeah, see, it's, 
it's not as bad off, but in person, it's like, it's highly noticeable. So, who else? Who's next on the viewing block? Well, I grabbed Leo, so. Yeah, Leo's pretty good. And yeah, also, if you guys are wondering <laughs> why I can't move him back any farther, it's because there's like a little lip here on the table. And yeah, it's, I don't know, it's pretty weird how I got it set up. And I don't want to really mess up anything. I have to do this whole video all over again because my editing skills is terrible. But yeah, no wonky eye here. Perfect looks just like the movie. All these guys look just like the movie. I mean, yes, the giant ones look like the movie. I mean, duh, they are the movie. But for whatever reason, these turned out looking more like the movie than those guys. I don't know what it is. So now I am in a dilemma of do I sell my giant figures or keep them? Because I noticed a lot of people have been putting theirs up for sale. And, you know, I might just hold on to mine. Ugh, let me get this to show up. Jesus Christ. Is my lens dirty or something? But yeah, his eyes is pretty good. And just this plain pose is good enough for me for Donnie. I keep thinking there's something on my shoulder and it's, uh, the strap to my earphones. So yeah, guys, uh, for what it's worth, these guys are worth it. Um, secondary market. I would say if I didn't get these and you had to pay scalper prices, I would say gladly pay 200, nothing more, nothing more. The reason why I say nothing more is I don't like it. The scalper is getting the benefit of the doubt and actually succeeding. And yeah, so don't buy them. Hold out until the scalpers get desperate and lower the prices and then grab them then. Otherwise, yeah, guys, these are superb. Perfect. Perfect. I mean, I have no flaws on the other figures. The only flaws what I showed you on Raph, and that's so minimal that... You know, if NECA was to say, you know, we can't send you out a replacement, that would be fine. So, yeah, guys, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Power to the Buster. Out.